talk about how using physical motions at the instrument creates beautiful phrasing, creates the correct articulations that are written on the page, and also creates a good sound. So we've talked many times of the importance about dropping uh, into the bottom of the keys, rolling out of the keys, and then using other touch releases for different articulations. So you'll notice on measure eight, there's the woodpecker touch release. So a basic staccato there, and then a little push off at the end of it so that there's a sense of, um, of excitement in the air, a very crispy sound, and it doesn't sound heavy at the end. So then there's the drip drop roll boy at the very end of the piece. On the Cable Car was written by Mary Leaf, and you'll notice I'm going to play this piece and show you um, how I'm doing all of those little directions in red. So we start with a drop motion, we roll forward, and then we drop, we roll, and then we drop, and we roll with both hands out of the key. to having wrists and forearms tight and, and uh, completely locked. Or scat, having students grip, brace, and squeeze the keys, playing on their curved finger tips. So let's not, let's not promote that kind of sound. So this piece is all about the wonderful Amelia Earhart who flew across the ocean and then we actually, we actually don't know what happened to her, right? So we have to learn all these C major scale fingering. There's another one even though it starts on G. So this is a terrific piece for students to review that basic scale fingering. All right, we have to think about anchoring our fingers into each key for a beautiful, warm, supple sound. And I ask the students to practice the last line at least five times a day correctly. And why is this? Because that is a really important crossover in the left hand want to be really secure about when they get to it after they play the entire piece.